Welcome back, Mr. AP here. So, in this video, we are going to continue declaring variables in the classes. So, the next panel that uh, we are gonna work on is the one with the JText area. So, this part, and that panel is called a uh, order information panel so we need to go to that class because we need to declare whatever components you we added we added to this panel so obviously there's only one component which is the jtext area and that's the only one we need to declare in the class. So open your class. The name of the class that we used is order now. I mean, no, 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 not that. Order information panel. Again, one more time. The next panel in the design we are going to work on is the panel where the JTEXT area is added and that panel is called order information panel so let's go open to that class open that class and here it is all we need to do is to declare the only component we added to that panel and that is JTEXT area so let's call it text area um what do you want to call it order info wow what a long name right anyways so i'm sure you know how to fix this error so we need to import this from the library yeah so in order for us to give this variable a value, we need to use the constructor. So let's uh, have the constructor of this class. Again, the constructor name is the same as the name of the class. So, and since we only have one instance variable or the global variable, so we only need to declare one local variable in the parentheses okay so again a variable of the same data type which is jtext area let's call it order o for order and that value o is assigned to text area order info just like that so like what we did in the uh, in the pizza product panel so we have to uh, make sure that this matches the one in the main form so open your main main form code and look at this look at the order information panel it is underlined because this construction constructor call doesn't match with the constructor itself the constructor of that class has one parameter where this constructor call doesn't have anything inside the parentheses so our job is to match them so what is inside the parentheses of the constructor a jtext area and we created that in the main form which is this one so again like what we did earlier we need to transfer that before the creation of that panel so that we can pass this to the constructor and now the underline is gone because this constructor call matches the constructor of the class itself they both have 
one parameter, one variable inside the parentheses. They must be of the same data type, J text area. And that is for the order information panel. And then the last but not least, the last panel that we're going to work on is the uh, is the order now panel and this panel has only one uh, variable which is the button and we're gonna do that in the next video see ya